Okay, hello everybody, welcome back to Dragon Age 2, where, really quick, I actually forgot that the journal updated after every act. Um, also, okay, so we did, we got items at the Centurion's Curious, a really neat story about Tevinter. Uh, if you want to read it, I will just kind of skim through it. I I've read it already. Um, but it was about Archons and, like, Blood Oaths and Centurions who are, like, mysterious and cool. And we got the Mantle of the Champion, which now we see... It's, it looks like, um, only one city in Free Marches gets to have a champion, like, for the entire Free Marches. I thought it was maybe for each city. Um, but it says, uh... Kirk Walnut adds the history of the title, a first for the city, on the 934 dragon. And it remains to be seen what follows for this Lady Hawk, the champion of Kirk Walnut. And Satarath, um, this was a, um, Aeroshock's weapon. I need to check and see if I've got that. <laughs> I didn't, I think I do, but I don't, I'm not quite sure. Uh, and then I looked at characters, and I forgot that everybody's, um, Stuff will be updated after the last uh, few years. I'm doing. Just let me check something really quick. Okay. After his attack on Ella, Anders lost interest in the cause of Mage Revolution, which is interesting. Convinced he was no better than an abomination, Anders was determined to gain mastery over the spirit inside him or die trying. It is increasingly apparent that he is losing this struggle, prone to wild mood swings between deep melancholy and manic depression. Manic determination. Anders has again taken up the mantle of mage freedom, though it is unclear whether this decision came from Anders or Justice. Lady status as champion has protected Anders from the tensions of the Templars despite his increasing notoriety. Though they have lived openly together for some time, Anders remains uncomfortable in the spotlight Lady's presence has cast him into. In private, though, he remains a tender and devoted lover. He has repeatedly declared that Lady is the only reason he's retained any sanity at all. So at first I was like, oh no, like he doesn't want to be with her. And then I was like, oh, okay, you know. And it's like, oh, the private and the personal or the public spotlight, you know, you should be the same. But he's, he's, he's not just Anders, right? Like, he's two men inside of one body. And it's only, it's only makes sense that he's going to be prone to wild mood swings. Because I have no idea if justice is... At any given time, it could be justice speaking through Anders or Anders speaking through Anders. Justice is almost always speaking through Anders and, like, still is, like, affected by Anders. But Anders, it, it's like they're, like, they're, like, separate, but they're the same. It's so, it's compli so complicated, their relationship. And the fact that he wants to be separate now is insane. Like, that, that was actually really big, and I didn't really, like, do any. I was like, oh, no, we're not doing that, but he wants to be separate. Like, that... That's huge. He wants to be himself again. He doesn't... I think part of him maybe is tired of this. Like, I mean, he does want the Mage Rebellion. He is for that. But he also... But how different would he be if if Justice was separate from him? You know? Like, would who would he be? Like, would he be the old Anders? Or... I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's just... I don't know. And we have Aveline. So her and Donic did get married in a simple ceremony in the Hawk Estate. They honeymooned in Orlay. Although she remains as captain and a year guardsman, Aveline now strictly divides her personal and private life. She is no less driven to keep her guardsmen safe, but Donic provides another perspective. And she is now giving her guard the authority they need to truly serve Kirkwall. As a force for law and order, the guard has never been more respected. This brings its own challenges, however, as some among the Templars would prefer that the guard be under their direct command. Um, so we don't have an update for Bethany yet, but we have, who did we have? We didn't have the hero. Uh, nope. It was Fenris after the last three years. Three years ago, after confronting Hadriana, Fenris learned of his long-lost sister. He has spoken little of it, though it clearly still preys on his mind. He has not left Kirkwall to pursue the matter. Remaining in Daenerys' mansion, even though it is common knowledge in Hightown that a friend of the champion lives within. Fenris finds his high profile in the city both intriguing and alarming. Over the last year, he has spoken more than once of leaving Kirkwall for good. If not for the debt he owes to Lady, he would likely have already moved on. I didn't realize that. It would have been good to read these as soon as I, like, you know, came out of the th came into the third act. 
Isabella's return during the Kunari crisis was surprising, most of all to Isabella herself. She blamed Lady for inspiring her to such foolishness and seemed to regret exposing herself to danger. After the Aeroshock was killed, Isabella was seen in deep conversation with Lady. The exchange ended as Isabella walked off, saying, You're reading too much into it. That was the last anyone in Kirkwall saw of her for some time. Many believed that she had left the free marches for good, then as abruptly as she had departed, Isabella appeared one day in her usual spot in the Hanged Man, drinking as though she had never been gone. Leliana. Many stories have been told of Leliana. Some say she fought alongside the hero of Ferelden against the Blight prior to serving at the right hand of the Divine. Even that is hearsay. The only thing known for certain is that the Bard is often seen at the Divine side in Val Royale. This has caused no small degree of alarm in the Chantry's inner circles. Does the Divine have a plan of her own? What might Leliana's be part of? The truth remains to be seen. Dun -dun -dun! Dragon Age Inquisition. And Knight Commander Meredith. We didn't have, we didn't read hers. She says, I have sympathy for the mages. They bear a terrible curse, one that endangers not only themselves, but innocents as well. We allow them freedom only at the risk of unleashing them upon the unwary. That last part doesn't really seem to jive with the first part. I don't know. Knight Commander Meredith Stannard is a native of Kirkwall, an or orphan who joined the Templar Order when she was quite young. She worked her way up the ranks with sheer determination. She is credited with removing the previous Viscount. Right, we read that. Tried and imprisoned. Many say the Templars fought only to preserve their position. Blah, blah, blah. For now, she enjoys the Grand Cleric's full support and has free reign in Kirkwall as the commander of his most powerful military force. Everything I do, everything I've ever done, was for the good of my people. Meryl spends more and more of her time locked away in her house in the Aliens with her mirror. She leaves only to buy food, which she does so rarely that Varric has taken to having produce delivered to her door. At least she no longer gets lost as, wa as she wanders the city. This is not good. This is not good for Meryl. I don't know. Maybe I should have destroyed the mirror. I don't know. This turns out is perhaps not what's best for her. You deny us our freedom so that you may sleep better at night, but I say it is a restless and undeserved slumber. First Enchanter Orsino is an elf from the Free March, city of Ansberg, who was brought to the gallows when he was very young. Some claim he became the youngest First Enchanter to hold a position in Kirkwall, not by his own merit, but because nobody else wanted it. He would call that cynicism. Some must, someone must advocate for the mages after all, even if the job is thankless, or the alternative, alternative would be for Kirkwall's mages to have no advocate whatsoever. For the past five years, Orsino has had constant, sometimes very public, disputes with Knight Commander Meredith. I'm surprised he's still in charge, to be honest. The common belief amongst the populace is that he's a troublemaker, possibly a dangerous one. Sebastian. Um, he apparently now is questioning his motives for everything. Um, he was going to go back to the Chantry, but the Grand Cleric told him no, because he wasn't fully committed. Um, but she ha he has proven a faithful friend to the Grand Cleric over the past three years. Um, whether he will again devote himself to the Chantry or return to Starkhaven is still anyone's guess, though Sebastian was heard saying that he will not leave Kirkwall as long as both the Champion and the Grand Cleric need him. Um, yeah, their quotes changed a little bit, too, for some of them. Varric saw Bartrand settled into a sanitarium just outside Kirkwall, run by the Chantry. He then took up the mantle of House Tethras officially. However, according to the updated official Kirkwall Merchant Guild documentation, the family businesses are run by non-existing uncles, aunts, cousins, and household pets. So I didn't realize that Bartrand could actually survive. Apparently he's going to live. And Varric is not going to have the dead brother hanging over his head in Inquisition when I play. Unless he dies due to complications later, perhaps. Like, you know, like, between the, between the games or whatever. All right, that was everyone. <laughs> so that was very interesting, though. Very, 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 very interesting. I'm not going to lie. I have a tiny crush on Orsino. I think he's... I also, honestly, have a tiny crush on Meredith because at least in that beginning part, when she first showed up, I was like, wow, like, she was so cool. But, I don't know. I find, maybe, freaking, I just have a thing for freaking old elves. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> Something's wrong with me. Okay, what are we doing now? Right. Wait, no, I wanted to go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. Possibly. I'm gonna check for comments again, just to see... Oh, looks like I gotta figure it out a moon. That's all right. It's totally fine. I I literally like like asked her in a comment like like forty five minutes ago or something. So okay, 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 okay. But for oh no, wait, we're gonna go shopping. Shop. We'll keep what we've got. We're just gonna be wandering around the city. 
Let's go to High Town. We'll start in High Town and go around. Because I want to try to get everybody's armor up. So you're trying. Blessed are the meek. For ah! Sebastian! Oh, I don't know what that was gonna be! Oh, no, 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 no. Dang it! Oh! So only go a little ways, otherwise Sebastian starts quoting freaking scripture at you. Well, let's see if this works. Go ahead, say it. Say what? I saw you watching me. I was looking at the clouds. Don't give me that. I know you've been judging me. You think I'm out of control? How can I claim to speak for mages when I'm half demon myself? You're not half the one demon. Over there looks a bit like a oh, oh my gosh! He's not joking, Anders. He is not. I'm. I am pretty sure he's not joking. Thank you. Ow! No! Ah! Sometimes it's too sensitive. Uh... So today I also just ordered, because I know that the Act 3 is the shortest, so I ordered um, the books of Thetis. How can you keep standing up for her? Who? That doddering old biddy of a grand oh, cleric. Oh, you were saying nice things How about dare. her before. Elthina is everything a grand cleric should be. She's holy, wise, spineless, hesitant. She's You're gonna get an arrow in your face, fast. Anders. In the face of danger, sometimes the bravest thing is to stand back and trust that the Maker will see Oh my gosh, is not. that what I think it is? Well, if doing nothing sums up your religion, then Elthina is perfect. Personally, I she didn't do nothing. Action over sloth. She was trying. She's trying to have the other two people. You're like, the Chantry sucks. But then you're like, Chantry needs to do something. Isn't that how it is like with government and stuff? It's everyone's like, oh, leave me the government's stupid and dumb. And then it's like, but give me like the stuff I want and stuff. Give me money and stuff. Yeah, it's funny. Pretty sure that that over there is probably a uh, memorial to just champion to Hawk. Which is, uh, great. It's great. It's great. I don't think- My hawk doesn't want any- Like, it literally, when I went into that battle, I wasn't thinking, I gotta save everyone. I was thinking, oh, shoot, if I don't fight him, I'm gonna lose Isabella. You know? So, yeah. That was interesting. That it wasn't like, you know, oh, I gotta save everyone. I mean, it kind of was- Ah! Don't- don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I wouldn't normally say this, but the uh, shiny white armor, it works for you. That's uncharacteristically kind of you, Varric. He's a bigger target. Makes you look like a lacquered pilot oh, whale. Bo <laughs> ah, no, that was much more in character. <laughs> a lacquered pilot whale? Oh my gosh. Jeez. What's over here? This is... Do more in low town. This is um the Viscount's place. So the only place to buy things is down by the shop. Okay. And that was the blooming rose over there and that's Delia. Oh, I have a uh, Sebastian with me. Maybe I should go talk to her. Maybe I should bring people who are nicer to Sebastian. Mistress Hawk, I must speak with you. You're the only one that can help. The Warden's mounted an expedition oh! to retrace your route through the deep roads to discover whatever it is you found years oh! ago. Oh! It's a fool's errand. <gasps> and my poor brother is with them. Nathaniel Oh my Hart. gosh! Nathaniel? Well, put me in a dress and call me a Put me in a dress? How is the oh, old boy Anders! Good? He's missing, sir. Uh -huh. Haven't you been listening? I got the names mixed up. I'm not worried about Nathaniel. He's crawled out of worse places alive. Oh my gosh, that's awesome! Yes! Wow, Nathaniel, holy crap! I thought this was the lady who was...
has promised her house to help Sebastian. Uh, wow. Wow. I take it you and Nathaniel have some, some pretty epic history. Suddenly. We were in the wardens together. Nathaniel is a warden. He's obligated to go with them. Wards of Darkspawn, psychotic brood mothers. Usual warden business. Yep. Oh. I wonder if Nathaniel ever found a sense of humor. Oh, uh, he was with the elven lady. And that was that was funny. <laughs> he had sort of a sense of humor at the end. I forgot that Anders was actually with me. Well, no, that wasn't the deep roads where that lady was. Where the brood mother was, but we did we did go into the deep roads to get um Oh shoot, I can't remember her name. The dwarf lady, the dwarven lady. Oh, it's right there. I can see her face and everything. Shoot. I can't remember the elven lady's name either. The Dalish the Dalish lady. Female woman, I don't know, the mate the Dalish mage lady. She was bad A. Eh? Why were wardens interested? Because there was freaking Make help me, I have no idea. My brother never tells me these things. Wardens range into the deep roads all the time. But he's been gone far too long. We have to go save the Daniel! I tell the wardens, but by the time I reach Vigil's Keep, my poor well, brother... Where is... Where is Durthara right now? Where is my warden right now? Is she off gallivanting around? Or is she still the warden command? I think she's still the warden commander at this point. No, it's been eight years now? I don't know. It didn't give you an exact... Did it give you... It might. I think it only said she did that for a few years. Um... But did I say that? Oh, okay. I tell the wardens... Tell me more! By the time I reach... Do you know any other details? I know almost nothing. Nathaniel Maybe we'll find Bethany. Is that what Bethany and Alistair were doing? It's happenstance that I heard your name mentioned. Please, go back uh, to the deep room. Uh, uh, find my brother. Wait. You must. Wait. 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 <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that. Anders, we gotta go freaking find Nathaniel. Where am I going? Okay, right, all right. Well, what lucky happenstance I had Anders with me, jeez. I mean, I know I bring him a lot, but still, there was a chance. I don't have any swords for you. There's a lot more people wandering around, and I'm also seeing a lot more dwarves. Oh, um, did you say anything? I would rather be a lowly brother than live here among the glamour and deceit. Okay. I need your help uh, again. Can we speak privately? Perhaps uh, in my camp? All right, let's get this from Hebert really quick. Catastrophe has ruined. struck, partner. We are Figures. ruined. It's all a, a town full of rotten mages okay. and. No I'll. I. Got it. Sell all junk, and I have to go through everything. Anywhere, anywhere. I think I checked. I think I checked up here already. But. Um, it's always good to check again. The best armor coin. Hey, I I own that. I'm pretty sure I do. Well, I have a ton of coin. I might as well buy something I like. Or and maybe I won't, but freaking I might as well. Let's, did you have any? Nope. Wee! Whoa! Freaking loud phone scared the crap out of me. Okay. Blades. Okay. Oh! Uh. Sure. Limb taker. Ooh. I 
I should probably check and see what I have in my inventory. Oh, okay, so that I, as soon as I got it, I... Attributes. Okay. Um... Should I? I was thinking at one point about putting a bunch into dexterity and trying to land critical hits more often. I mean, but I still have a long way to go on attack strength. So maybe, maybe I should go on strength for a while. Hmm. Or should I? I kind of would like to invest in stamina too, and just be able to hit things more. You know. Oh, it's so difficult. It really is. Like it's like you could like. And maybe I should, cause like I know I've given Fenris and Aveline a lot of Constitution and Strength, and maybe Hawk. Could we could focus on willpower for her? I don't know. Okay, well, that was extra points anyway, so might as well. Oh, those aren't gonna do anything for me. Backpack! Yay, backpack! Is that it? Or. Pretty sure I saw something about you. Hello again, Hawk. Or should I call you the champion? I saw something about you in Inquisition. It was funny. Um. All right. So that's. Hey, come replace your old crap. Okay. Oh. Uh. Let's. Okay. Inventory. Okay. Ugh. Wait, what? It's the same? Why is it the same? Wait, whoa! I didn't know I had that! I didn't realize I'd pick that up! Oh, gosh. She looks not very good in that. Oh, boy. Uh, I shouldn't have bought those. Oh, well. I can sell them back. Not a big deal. Um. No, I have the... Gauntlets of the champion, so gauntlets aren't going to be a big deal for me. I can't wear those. I can't wear that. That, nope, don't really care about those. Uh, nope. Stone hammer helm is still really good. I'll sell those back again, and that, and... I will put that away. <laughs> um, did I get? I did. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, it's fire damage too. Yay! What does it look like? Whoa. Oh, it's only a one-handed weapon. Oh shoot! I thought it was two-handed. Jeez. All right. Well, I'll do the double-bearded axe then. Uh, I'll have to give that to Mage's friend. 17 magic resistance. I mean, I haven't, I need to check, um, what's his name? Burr. Oh yeah, hey, your bow probably really sucks right now. I'm sorry, it's your family bow and all. Sting? When did I pick up Sting? Whoa, Lord of the Rings, oh my gosh! Actually, it was the Hobbit, right? Yeah, that's Bilbo Baggins. Yeah, it's Bilbo Baggins, so that's Hobbit. Nice. Eye of the Storm, cool. Houndmaster's short bow, how that? Have it, have it. I, I'm sorry. 
uh, to infect with walking bomb. Holy crap! Hundred and two, though. Oh, short bow versus long bow. I assume the short bow then can fire faster. Quick bow. Messy kills, 5% chance to stun. Or, ooh. 100, that short bow's 102. Physical, but it doesn't have anything else. Plus 102 attack. Um, shoot. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll store that. Anders. Oh yeah, I never gave that to you. Oh, but I wanted to give that to... Um... Oh! I wanted to give this one to... Meryl. Oh, 5% just done. Electricity damage. Nature damage. Plus 4 fire damage across two... What is it? So this one has enemies can't dodge it. enemies can't dodge your attacks anyway as a mage. Five percent chance to regenerate for hell. His current one though is mana regeneration. I'll get him sting because that's fun. Oh, and Bianca's good to go. I never, I don't think I ever, like, I'm never going to give him any, like, I don't, like, you can't in, in Inquisition, I think you can give him a different bow, but you can't give Bianca to anyone else. It's strictly limited to Varric, so that seems kind of weird. I mean, it's restricted to Varric in this one, but it was, see, it always seemed weird to, like, give him a different bow, you know? And, re okay, I will go through the other things, I'll go through the, like, thingy-majiggies, with people who I'm gonna be bringing out. Yay, wow, we got a lot of room, okay. Picking up a lot of daggers, I need to bring Isabella out. Okay, fast travel. Is there anything up here? Oh, let's see. Oh, me, I don't like it as much, I don't. No, I don't, she looks so stupid. Like, buff shoulders is one thing, but it's just like all up in her face. But it's for the dragon fight. It's for the freaking dragon fight. Um, Dark Town. Ooh, 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 ooh. Should we go visit the Black Emporium? Maybe I'll find myself something really cool there. Now that I have money. Yo, Xenon. Look around. So many Chest. To admire. Oh. Oh. It, the dead what? Uh, 19 letters from members of the Dwarven Martians Guild addressed to Varric Tethers of Kirkwall. Uh. Would anyone buy such things? I can hardly imagine. Interesting. Broken dousing rods. Um. Oh, you, you can douse. That's okay. Never attempt to use their skills for nefarious purposes. A brief theological debate ensued over what sort of nefarious purposes a dowser might have. A dowser. The worst possible dowsing related crimes suggested by Grand Cleric Blah was that they might go looking for poisonous worms which could be left in the Chantry Offertory. Chantry did this, while unacceptable, is a relatively mild threat. A history of magic in the Chantry. Okay, should I have come here like. Those rare enchanted goods. 
Also, socks. Hmm. Desdemona's blade. Okay. Robes of unblemished cleanliness. King something the forgotten's armor. Whoa! Uh, that's very expensive. I would have to. I would have to. Uh, Automatos. New entries appear of their own accord with no scrivener's quill in sight. When a mage comes up and says it's impossible, but your own eyes see it happen, and often it's clearly a wonder. And what bogglers these imitari? Okay, so there are multiple volumes. On the emergent compendium of the ori in the original tongue, two shadowed spheres. Okay, is this that language that I I've seen on the internet as people asking questions to like Patrick Weeks and stuff, and then he responds in normal English, but they ask in like a very strange like code. Is this that code? <laughs> So we have the Emporium crafting materials and the relics and antiques. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, maybe. Wait, okay, let's, um, save. And I will buy, um, this is the only armor I could wear. Yeah. Helm of a thousand battles. Immunity to critical hit! Wow, no wonder that's like the second most expensive thing in there. Wow. That looks just like Alistair's! Oh, slash, um... Slash... Oh, gall, um... Not Theron, um... Gall, oh, what is it? Now I, I forget. This, this armor is cursed. It made me forget. Uh, it has a lot of stuff on it. I mean, maybe it would be worth it for the dragon fight, but that is a lot of money And when I'm just going to be trying to get the, um, the mantle of the champion. Uh, it, uh, it's the shoulders, though, you know? It's the shoulders. All right, well, we'll, we'll not buy it right now. I guess I could have used the autosave. Um, but yeah, I'll go around looking at the other stuff to buy. See if I can find any armor that I like. Okay. 
Okay, so we were gonna go not Dark Town. You can't really buy anything in Dark Town, but you can in Low Town. Maybe I should stop by and visit Gamlin. Dang, this is taking us a while. Cause for in the next one, I want I le I wanted to start the the dragon battle in this one, but we did need to go shopping. Um, the shops are kind of everywhere. Oh, that's the way out. Uh, can't do. Oh, fiddly. Oh wow, is there? Where? Well, where are they keeping the armor upgrades for everyone? You're giving me that look again. What are you writing this time? Oh. So. You oh are my gosh. The <laughs> Did he jump you? <laughs> Did you swear eternal vows of love, or is this just a physical thing? I don't see how that's any of your business. <laughs> Fine. But if you don't tell me, I'm just going to have to make it up. Oh my gosh. Varric, you are incorrigible. That's for sure. He just doesn't care. Canary sword. Um. All right, I'm also kind of watching the computer right now. It was kind of doing something weird. Bye. Uh, hmm. That seems a bit odd. Oh, I can go to the gallows too, though. Ah, ah. You won't find better price. Huh. Okay. To the gallows we go. That's the only other place to buy things. We might be able to buy something at the docks. Oh, and then we could go to the uh, Dalish encampment. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. Okay. Distracted. I don't know what on the loose is. I forgot. You know, if you have time, oh boy. I can give you a few archery points. Oh boy! Excuse me. Sometimes your shots veer a little left. I thought maybe your cocking ring was off. I could take a look if you like. <laughs> you want to touch <laughs> Bianca's cocking ring? Uh, it was just a thought. Uh, <laughs> How's it going, Thrask? Since she stepped into the Viscount's shoes, Meredith has forgotten her duty to the Templars. That doesn't surprise me. Volcanic shield. Plate armor. Cool. Huh. Best armor coin can buy. Widow's Fury. What a Canary Sword. Uh those little Was this closed before? The little mage link or the Templar. This is the home of Kirkwall's Circle of Magi. I have been stationed here. How since nice I was for 15. you! Where's Grace and everyone? What's it? What's up? Oh. I think that statue over there is a statement on modern life. Possibly the statement is <clears throat> well, shit. I would agree with you. Um, I don't think you're gonna have what I want. Wait, what? Oh. So good to see you. Mutiny. 
Hmm. Okay. Spill anything. It takes many Templar Hall. Where's Elaine and Grace? There's no mages out right now, just tranquil. Oh! Oh, you- Oh, you guys are Templars now! The mages oh, have they've changed. Our order, I tell you. You can't trust anyone. Why? Talking with me, Sarah. The Knight Commander needs vigilance and obedience Okey -dokey, in hey. these trying times. Champion. It seems you've become less a friend to the your eyes are getting darker since your ascent. But surely you can see the Knight Commander directly now, should you wish. What would you uh... have of me? Everyone says the Knight Commander's gone crazy. Are well, the you armor still look too bad. Her? The people ask too much of her. She needs a spine of iron to survive her position. I have seen madness before. I saw Aldred's eyes when there was nothing human left in them. The Knight Commander. She ah. is not there yet. But I do not have to okay. ask where the rumors come from. Okay, interesting. He says, yet? And he knows where the rumors are coming from. Hmm. He's starting to question now. If it comes to war with the mages, whose side do you think the Grand Cleric will take? She is bound by faith That's and duty true. to support that is the true. Templars. We have dominance over mages eh. by divine right. But it is cruel how she leads them on, letting them think they might have a chance at rebellion. It was nice catching up. I just wanted to see how an old friend is doing in this difficult time. After what happened in Ferelden, I told myself oh. I would never again question the purpose of the Order. But it grows harder each day to tell whether I'm serving the Templars or only oh. the Knight Commander. It may be that they are no longer wow. one and the same. He is showing a level of self-awareness there that I was not expecting at this point. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, okay, I saw you guys. There are no mages left. Ooh, shoot, man! Oh. Are you... Do you guys say different things? What's so bad about living in the circle? Why can't mages just be happy with oh, what they Oh, yeah, have? okay. Right behind you, Hawk. I need your ah! help. Can we speak privately? Perhaps in my clinic? Okay, I am going to call it here. Um, hopefully in the next one we'll get to the dragon battle. Maybe while things are up, like, uh, encoding or whatever, I'll, uh, I'll start working on who I want to bring with me and whatnot. I'll probably stop by my house, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I should do that right now, actually. Like, really quick, before, in case anything cutscene-y happens. Or should I, oh, should I risk it? Should I risk a run to Sundermount? I'm gonna risk it. Uh, oh, I should have brought. Uh, I can't, can't. I don't sound like I have a changing people changing station around here. I just noticed that the recording is being a bit odd, so I'm a little worried about pushing it. But I just want to run through here really quick. Hopefully, I mean the Dalish are still there. <laughs> Didn't I have something that was supposed to help me avoid traps? Yeah. What are you people doing out here? I never get attacked out here. How about you? Have you heard the Salish? Need to get closer. Be clear. What? What? Oh, shoot. Wait. Uh, no. Okay. Never mind. Um, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Um. Okay, I'm gonna try to go back to that one and then turn right back around and leave and bring Meryl with me because this is not, not good. Um, I will call it here, I guess. Uh, apparently, I thought I'd already come. I guess I haven't come up here in Act 3 yet. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe nothing will happen, but I want to be rather safe than sorry. Um, anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. I will see you in the next one.